Hi, this is Wim at Model Maker Systems and today we look at creating a road network design part 1. In this exercise we will illustrate the concepts and functions needed to do the preparation in Model Maker for a road maker network design. The part 2 video we use these preparation files in road maker. We start off with an example of a CAD layout with lines drawn on the road center line positions and we load the survey files as a .bot file. Each road's horizontal alignment was drawn with a unique layer name, the street name. If we look at the layer display, I'll show you how I did the layer setup. Turn the layout layer off to display all the roads, each drawn on its own layer. There are a few rules regarding the network design. Each intersecting road needs to snap onto each other's line work at the intersection point. If I turn on the line endpoints and move the road, there is no endpoint on the straight line segment. The CAD layout is drawn like the horizontal alignment, except for the PI points at the horizontal curves, which are drawn as fillets. Turn on the sides to inspect the model for any open triangles. The survey.bot file should cover the area of all the roads. Try to avoid any open triangles in the model. Close any open triangles in the road reserve. I will illustrate how to put one road on its own CAD layer. ID the relevant CAD on one road centerline, both the lines and arcs. Shift plus right click, man ID, change, layer and change to a new layer name, in this case the street name. To start with a new road, use shift plus right click, ID new. If I turn the display of the layer off, I confirm that the road is on that layer. Repeat the steps and do this for each road center line. CAD ID new. Confirm the show always is on. Note my ID on the fly is on, so I can select the cat on the screen. Once all the roads are on their own layer, we proceed to the next step. ID all the layers of the center lines, select them on the screen, shift plus left click and indicate the area. Select regular lines, polylines 
and circle and arcs. Go to the GXT strings function on the left main menu. Add at the bottom and new at the bottom. Set the type to alignment, default elevation 0 and interpolate from model off. Enter the node name PI. Numerical 1. Change the pen color to the color you want to add the alignment string. Use ID CAD. Select name equals CAD layer and layer equals CAD layer. This will draw all the alignment strings with the CAD layer name. Turn the display height CAD endpoints off. If I turn the CAD display off, you should see your alignment string. Zoom into one of the PI points. Note the horizontal curve radius. If you turn on the GXT node endpoints, there should be no circles on the intersecting node point. The connection only shows a star and this means only one PI node of the string at the connecting point, which is correct. If you do see a circle, it means two PI points are on the same position. In this case, it is allowed because one road starts and another ends here. Save the strings file uh, with file save. Choose the extension .kcs. The .kcs file together with the .bot file is what you need for the network design in Roadmaker. To view CAD in Roadmaker, you can save the layout layer as a CAD background.kcd file. Choosing to save display only will exclude all the centerline road alignments in this file. If you look at the GXT display, you will note that each road is drawn with its own layer and string name. Turn on the display of the strings only. You can also view the strings info of a specific string with GXT info info. Indicate the string and select coordinate editor. The coordinate editor will give you a table of the alignment detail of the indicated string. or use edit string info.
creating service strings to use in Roadmaker. In this example, we will use the service strings to indicate the road reserve part. GXT add new. The service strings are drawn as general strings with unique names to be able to select them from a list. I draw a string on the left and right of road Z, adding a suffix to the string name RE and LE for right and left. A general string. Tick the interpolate from model. The node name is not important. Select the indicate option. Use your snap mode to draw the strings. Confirm your active project is the natural ground survey. Do the other side and remember to change the name. In this example, I do only one road, but you could do all the roads using unique names for each string layer. Remember, you need to select the string from a list of names linking them to each road of your design. Add your culvert section positions as general strings. The name culvert must be the string name and the culvert string must be drawn crossing the road from left to right. Let's draw two culvert strings on road Z. Note the direction of the road alignment and the string I draw from left to right across the road. If the word culvert is in the string name, the string will be used for a culvert section in the Roadmaker. I manipulate the display to only display the general service strings. Save the displayed service strings that we want to use as a .kcs file separate from our alignment strings. When you save, the program will prompt me to save the display only. Thanks again for watching and make sure to watch Creating a Road Network Design Part 2.